The cutoff switch and tunnel are shown here. The train for Gori is just entering the tunnel, which runs behind the city of Great Divide and will emerge at Cross Junction. Some trains from Great Divide were pulled backward from the main station and coupled to the waiting engine already on the cutoff track. The contests that John won and the articles he wrote about model railroading and the articles that were written by others about his own railroad would have made him famous. But a large share of his fame came from his own skill as a photographer. And that skill was brought to national attention over and over by the full page ads, many on magazine covers, which he made for the Varney Company, a model railroad equipment manufacturer. While the pictures were made on his own railroad, the equipment displayed would never have been permitted on the gory and defeated under normal conditions. streamlined trains, diesels, large steam power, and so forth. The ads often featured semi-humorous railroading events. In this case, the great Northern Empire Builder has collided with a push cart. The scenery was breathtaking, the detailing exquisite, and every ad carried the credit, photo by John Allen. John was always eager to evaluate the pulling power of new engines. Few passes ever achieved the rarity and value of this one. Another piece of Allen whimsy, John made his own stamps and used them until the postal inspectors came along. This one has actually been canceled, making it one of the great philatelic rarities.